In this lecture, we're going to be looking at installing our dependencies inside of Mac OS. So the first thing we need to do is download Node.js at version 6.5.0. Now there are a few ways in which we can do that. On Mac, I like using Homebrew as a package manager to install Node. If you want to, you don't have to use Homebrew, you could simply head over to nodejs.org, hit other downloads, previous releases, and then install Node.js here at version 6.5.0 by hitting the downloads button, and then by installing the appropriate version for Mac. This should be the Node 6.50 package, but I'm gonna do this a little different way. What I'm going to do is use Homebrew. So if we head over to brew.sh, we can download the package manager. We can then copy this string here into our terminal, and that installs the Homebrew package manager on our machine. Once that has completed, we can run brew update to make sure we have the latest version of Homebrew. This is especially important perhaps if you've had Homebrew installed in the past and you need the latest version. And then we can use brew install node. By using brew install node, this will most likely install the latest version of node. But if you can select that, I would select node 6 or node 6.50. But if you can't, I'm going to show you a way in which you can change the version of your Node.js installation. So I usually run with NPM version 5 and Node version 8. That's just because the latest version of Node and NPM is currently those numbers. How do we change that? Well, we can use something called NVM. So first off, ensure that you can run node-v after installing it with brew install node. And if your numbers aren't below 650, for example, if the 610, you'd be completely fine and you could continue. But if your numbers are higher than 650, then you will need to use a lower version of node. And this is simply because at this moment in time, the ghost CLI doesn't actually support a greater version. So in order to do that, we need to head over to nvm for node version manager sh. We can then install the following script. And if we copy that into our terminal, and if we hit enter, now I already have nvm installed. You can see that it goes ahead and downloads nvm. And in order to add this to our environment variables, we need to copy this string here, copy everything but the comment here at the end, and paste this into our terminal, and hit enter. We can then type nvm. nvm then allows us to use a particular version of Node. Let's type nvm install 6.50. This will install Node 6.50, and then we can use nvm use 6.50 to use that particular version of Node. We are finally nearly done. If we type node-v and npm-v, you should have similar numbers to me. Like I said, it's really important that you get this done correctly, else of course you won't be able to use the ghost CLI. So the final thing to do is to install ghost-cli and use dash g. This allows us to install the CLI globally on our machine, and when we do so, we can use it anywhere we want inside of the terminal. So we now have the ghost CLI installed. If we type ghost, you'd see that this is installed correctly. It tells us that we need to run ghost help if we want to know how to use the ghost CLI. But if we get that message, that means we've done everything correct so far. So potentially a little bit hassle to get started, but once that is done, there's no more configuration. We don't have to worry about that at all. And we can just worry about creating our themes. Let's jump into creating our first ghost application. 